Hey people, welcome to the Forest Titan Treehouse. Um, as soon as the extinction hit, I had a bunch of people asking if I was going to make um, some Titan bases. And I saw the Forest Titans, thought that's got to have a treehouse built on it. Looks awesome. Um, the, the distance you can build out from the platform is pretty limited. And so is the height, but I pushed it to the edges of both to you know really fill out the structure. Um, I had to up the structure limit again on the platforms as well to get it built. Uh, I used Eco Trees mod to build uh, like a living forest on top of the Titan to make him look like he was uh, you know, really old and overgrown. And then I built the tree house in layers around the trees that I've got growing like out of the actual tree house itself. There's also a small place for flyers like slung underneath. And um, I've got some caged bulldogs as hanging lanterns all the way around it. I'll list the mods in the description. Just have a quick fly around him, check him out, and then um, have a quick run around inside to show you what I put in. Filled it all with decor again, it's all eco mods, Not, well, 90% of it. Uh, used S Plus and I used Platforms Plus as well. I built walkways right way around his body and going between all the different layers. Um, there's some like smaller rooms in between the floors as well where I've put like barracks and stuff. Um, what else was there? Yeah, I wanted to keep fire down to like a minimum so I didn't put any torches in there. I used a lot of these lantern trees and also used uh, feather lights and bulb dogs just to brighten the place up a bit. I also used some artifacts and the only real fire I've got in there is some um, forges for like a small production area. So I still did it so like you've got a kitchen and you no know, place to cook, a place to build things. So it's like a functioning base really. You can actually see where the forest has grown through his back here. I had to build sections of wall going through like inside his chest and managed to clip the trees just inside him so the branches and stuff are sticking out of him in all directions. I think it looks good. Just a bit more sort of texture and stuff to him than there is you know, just with the normal one. Like all the roots look like they're growing around the tree house and keep everything you know, sort of attached to him. This is um, stained glass from one of the eco mods. Just built a little place to chill out at the back of him. Got a small kitchen. Then there's like platforms and walkways going out around him. I was thinking of building some um, like landing pads and stuff for flyers. But like I said, the, the structure limit of well, basically how far you were, away you can build for the platform. I was like right at the edge of everything. This is like on his chest, the walkway is going around his chest. This is like looking out from underneath him. Like a small throne room. And it's production area. Forges and smithies. When I'm building out of wood, I always think I should keep things looking a little primitive. You know, instead of putting fabricators and uh, industrial forges and stuff in with it that's why i've only used like the stone forges and the smithies for now could build a tech one though or a metal one yeah this is just a little area like for like a dining room sort of thing and then between the levels here there was a like an open section so i'll put a bit of a barracks in I use them um, sort of like wicker walls. Um, so it's like it's a fence basically, it's a wicker fence. But um, you can sort of stack them on top of each other, I just thought it looked pretty good. So I went in with the design. Got some small rooms dotted about, I thought you could use as. Um, just like living quarters basically for for the tribe 
and then there's lots of platforms and walkways all over the place and some of these you could use um, if you kept some clear to land flyers on because most of the time you wouldn't be walking around with him you know if you did do something like this I know there's always the question of putting this much time and effort into building something on one of these when we can only have them for like five days um, especially on uh, unofficial and official service but the wiki actually says you can permanently tame one on single player so you know I'll have to see how long this guy lives but it does say if you spawn in another one it will sort of sacrifice the first team for that but yeah from what it says single player you can keep one around forever you can guarantee that the PC is going to have uh, mods out soon for it anyway just have to see what happens on um, unofficial I think for the first like week or so we could actually keep them alive, you know, feed them. Um, but I know that got patched. Whether they'll bring it back or maybe bring out a feed uh, Titan option like they've got for the Titan or so. That'd be cool for servers. Got the Mesopithecus, you know, little monkeys and um, feather lights all over it because I figured they'd be living in a giant tree. There we go, that's pretty much the whole place. I'll show you walking around. Check this out. There it is, you can get a sort of a proper view there as well, the, the forest growing out of him and everything. I think it worked out pretty well this. Looks good. No idea, I should have put the FPS option on just to see how much it dropped. But it's nowhere near as bad as the um, the Titan I saw. I mean, you can literally, you can see what you're doing. There's no like major lag when you're walking around with it. But there is a lot of stuff on that platform. Alright guys, that's about it. Um, if you get a chance, check out the rest of the channel. I'm going to build something on all the Titans. Um, probably going to build some different types as well. Uh, what I build like a war titan on the on on this guy and take him out into the you know to go and fight the corrupted. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.